questions here to come and do another this is vulnerability this is where i am type of video um i got a lot of great response and i figured i would do another one so let's jump on into it by the way if you're new to my channel hi my name is ebony aka evans of actionista and if you're old even goody is it great to see you so let's get into the video so this video is going to be about the process between when you pray and when something happens and when god manifested okay so let's get into it so a lot of times <clears throat> excuse me a lot of times in the christian world or the christian circle or whatever you want to call it um we pray and we fast and we seek god and we go on prayer walks and we travail and we war when we go to our prayer closets for certain things and then when they start to manifest they may not always look the way that we think they're going to look and sometimes our hearts begin to harden we start to lose hope lose faith we get angry at god Excuse me, and that's not always the right way. That's never the right way to respond to, um, you know, things that go not always the way you want them to go. So I want to come and share with you guys my story and how I'm learning to trust God, love God, and do my part even through the process, even when it's ucky, mucky, icky, sticky, <laughs> grimy, doing the process to get between what my prayers and the manifestation of them. So yeah, let's get into it. So. First of all, I'm going to talk about my current situation. So as you guys know, I'm currently unemployed and uh, I started a new job on Thursday. And so currently unemployed and for about the entire six months that I was employed in my previous job, I prayed that God would give me a new job. I was like, God, I don't like this job. I hate it. It's straining my body. It's straining my eyes. It's straining me mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I just want to be out of here. Lord, please take me to a new place. Lord, deliver me from this job. Lord, please show me another job. <laughs> like, every day, every, every, every day. And so, when it was time for the whole the disagreement and everything, I left my job, I was really, really bittersweet because I was so happy to be gone from that job. But all of a sudden, this fear came over me. And I'm like, okay, God, what you gonna do now? <laughs> because I'm praying, I'm praying, you deliver me, but there's two parts to that prayer now. <laughs> and a lot of times, you know, we, we t let that fear overtake us. And instead of being like, okay, God, what do I do now? What can I do? Where should I be applying? Where should I be working? What should I be searching for on the internet? You know, who do I need to talk to? A lot of times you start getting to feel like, God, you said this, and you said that. Now, what about this promise? And what about this that you said in your word? And now I'm angry, and now I'm bitter, and I'm manifested. <laughs> and a lot of times that happens. And so... You know, and I'm, we're human, we make mistakes, but I just wanted to show you guys, share with you guys some of the things that I've been learning through the process, through the muck, through the grimy, gritty grimy uh, part. So, yeah, so um, I started my job on Thursday, and I feel like the enemy is trying to attack me with fear, because I'm like, I don't want to get stuck working at a small job. Like, I'm living in a small town, one, which is very, very challenging for me. Two, I'll be working in a mall in a small town. Like, that just sounds like a nightmare to me. Who's this? A person who's traveled all over the world, who has this big vision, who I want to touch all type of orphans in other countries, and it just sounds like my worst nightmare. But I'm learning to work through the process. Right now, I need some employment. I've been, while I was praying that God would deliver from, deliver me from my job, I prayed for human interaction because I felt like at my job, I was on the computer eight hours a day, just staring at the computer, not talking to people and anything. And I worked there at JCPenney's, I'm going to have some human interaction. I'll be working for cashier, maybe, you know, stocking up, working on the floor, getting, getting it set up. So I'll have time for creativity because I'll be setting up the floor in the junior department. I'll have time, excuse me, for human interaction because I'll be, you know, ringing people out and checking people out and helping people look for stuff and so partly working with JCP is the answer to my prayer. So instead of letting the enemy overcome your fear, like God is supposed to work a career job, this, this is supposed to do that. I'm like, okay, this working with Jesse Pennies is an answer to my prayers. It's unconventional. It's not how I thought you're gonna answer my prayers, but it's still an answer to prayer. And I'm gonna do my best at this job. I'm gonna keep applying and looking for other jobs. But if this is what you have for now, I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm just gonna be. Because so so for so long in my life, I've always been, okay, what's next? Okay, this is not it. I gotta find something next. But right now, I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna keep applying. I'm gonna keep going to interviews because there's a human process. God has to do his part, but we also have to do our part. If we gotta keep praying and praying and praying for a job, we gotta apply. We gotta go to interviews. We gotta update our resume. We gotta get our reference letters. All that stuff, there's still the human process that we have to go through. And we sometimes we have to get out of the clouds and say, oh God, I'm gonna flood the heavens with prayers. And you're not doing anything else. You're just sitting at home praying. 
you need to get your applications out there. You need to get your resume updated. You need, you need to go to interviews. And so that's what I'm learning about, like just the human process and doing what I have to do while God does what he does. Because I may meet someone amazing at JCPenney who can help me with my next step. You never know, you know? So I don't want to be so worried about the next step. I don't want to be so worried about God who said that I don't enjoy what he has me in right now. So for example, the other day me and my husband were going to split um, on the groceries, but he left his debit card at home. And so I start to freak out because I'm like, I know I only got about thirty dollars in my bank account right now. I know I don't start working until Thursday, and I probably won't get paid for another two weeks. And I start freaking out. And God was like, Don't you know I can multiply food? Don't you know that I can show you the bargains and the deals and the sales? And so I'm learning. So on Sunday, I bought five meals for thirty dollars. That's something I never knew how to do. I just went to the grocery store, got whatever I wanted, and cooked whatever you know I wanted. I never structured it, planned it. Said, okay, this is how much I can spend in the store. This is the sales, watching the sales, watching the coupons. You know, I learned that because with the little that I have, God's gonna give me much, you know? So if, I, if I'm learning to steward what I have, the little $30 that I have, when God gives me great, I was gonna know what to do with it. You know what I mean? So I'm learning to enjoy the process, enjoy the icky mickey. It's hard. For me growing up, like in my teenage and young adult years, I can do whatever I wanted to. I can buy whatever I wanted to, you know, because God had blessed us. Um, and I'm saying that God hasn't blessed me right now, but it's a total different lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm just learning to enjoy and just roll with the punches. God, this is where you have me. I have come to terms that this is where I'm placed. Because some days I'm like, what the heck am I doing here? I don't have any friends. I don't have a job. What the heck am I doing in Evansville? But I have, have come to terms. This is where God's placed me. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to love him. I'm going to follow him and do whatever he tells me to do through it at all. Because it's easy to become bitter. It's easy to say, God, you said you're going to do this. You said you're going to do this. What about this prophecy? What about this in the word of God? But God has, his plans are so much bigger than ours. His thoughts are so much bigger than ours. His plans are way different than ours. And so, you know, I'd rather go through the muck and the hard times the way that God has than to go the easy route, the, you know, the way that the enemy has for me. So I just want to encourage you guys in that area, you know, when you pray, you know, there's still a process that you have to go through to get through the manifestation. And I'm not saying it has to be hard every single time because it doesn't. But whatever that process is, trust God, love God, and serve God through it all. That's the end of the story. I mean, and there's another situation with my, my husband. So, um, for about the last year, I've been praying and seeking God to give him off of night shift. Because I saw a toll it was taking on him physically, mentally, emotionally, because he was always in the dark. He slept through the day and worked through the night. He was always in the dark. He hates it. He wants to be outside. He wants to enjoy the daylight. And then, uh, with us becoming newlyweds, I was like, God, please, because I'm on day shift, he's on night shift. When do we ever get to spend time together, you know? And so I was seeking God. I was crying out on the floor, travailing in my closet, you know, really seeking God that God, that Ryan would get off a night shift and that God would open the door for a position that he can really enjoy in his day shift. And so, you know, when a uh, couple like two days before our wedding he found out that his night shift position was eliminated i was like freaking out because one part of me was like praise god he's not on night shift anymore but the second part was like what the heck we're gonna do because i don't have a job and now we're trying to figure out what's gonna go on with your job so praise the lord when we came back to my honeymoon they allowed him to work day shift 95 for at least a month until he finds something in another position in the hospital or outside of the hospital and since then, three people have approached him about another position that has higher paying position, salary, training, traveling, all these amazing things, you know, and so we've had to have some time work. We've been very, very budgeted, very, very strict with our budget, you know, just having to stay in all the time, you know, and we really had to sacrifice and go through it, but it looks like we're coming out gold, you know what I'm saying? So don't, don't, don't turn away, turn away from God during the fire, during the ucky, icky, mucky process. Just trust him. Like, you, even though we're both going through things with our jobs, we've still been praising. We've still been worshiping. We've been reading Robert Kiyosaki books. We've been reading about how to invest, how to save. With the little that we do have, we've been trying to learn how to steward, learning how to be intentional and live life on purpose and researching it. We, I feel like we've been doing better now than we ever did, <laughs> even when we both were working and stuff like that. So I feel like I'd rather grow closer to God and learn so much through this process than be bitter and just be angry at God and turn away from him in the process. So I hope this story, these stories encourage you. I hope my journey encourages you. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you guys later.